We are Crystal and Terry, and we've always loved to travel. However, the high demands of our full-time jobs make it increasingly difficult to take any time off. So, we're giving it all up. For the next year of our life, we'll be dedicating ourselves to full-time travel. We're so excited about this next chapter, and we really hope you'll join us in this amazing adventure as we leave the life we've always known to live the life of our dreams. Good morning, everyone. We've made it all the way to the Oregon coast. And today we're fortunate enough to have two of the best local experts, Rob and Cecilia Fogel, AKA mom and dad. <laughs> Our first stop today is lunch. We'll see you there. We have come to the famous South Beach Crab Shack where they serve up these delicious Dungeness crabs that come right out of the ocean here in Newport. So they actually boil them in a big pot right behind me and then serve them up cold with melted butter. And I am going to do the cracking today so we get to see that. But I can already tell you this is delicious because I've had it a couple times. Let's dig in. devoured all the crab legs because those are the easiest ones to get to but there's tons of meat in the body of the crab too and a lot of people don't know that you can get the meat in there but it's a little extra work so I usually crack the whole thing and then put it in a little pile pour the butter on top and then eat it with a fork so let's see if I can get through that now <laughs> well we devoured all the crab whoops <laughs> the wind is blowing and it was delicious yeah mm. Is the aquarium. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. the Oregon Coast Aquarium and we're gonna take a look at all kinds of neat things from the ocean so some seals and puffins and fossils and oh um, penguins and jellyfish so let's go check them out
we just finished up our walk through the Oregon Coastal Aquarium and it is so nice. It's it's smaller but they have everything and everything is so well kept. All of their exhibits are well kept. The animals are really spoiled. They said that to feed one sea otter per year is $22,000. That's how much they spend on sea otter food. So anyway, I think the uh, creatures here are doing really good and it's a great stop if you are on the Oregon coast. I definitely recommend coming here. Good morning. Crystal's dad has been kind enough to arrange a fishing expedition for he and I on the Pacific Ocean. It is 5.12 a.m. in the morning and I have not yet had coffee but I do have on about four layers of clothing as it's a bit chilly and I'm told it's going to be windy and cold upon our fishing vessel today. So that's how my morning is starting. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of the day unfolds. Let's go. Okay, I'm all ready to go here. We went in, temporary license. They do it on the spot, sign in, all your info, and then that's it. She told me to go down to G Doc and get on the something something too. I don't remember I don't what she what said. I don't remember what she said. <laughs> I guess your dad knows he's already on his way. And so that's it. That's all we had to do. It was quick, fast. It was 300 for two people. We're gonna be gone for five hours. We get a catching limit. So we're guaranteed maybe to catch some fish and have an experience here in Newport, Oregon. Let's go see. Seasick out here, not in the Pacific. No, no not in the. Well, okay, I'm lying. I'm sorry. My yeah. nose was starting to grow. Oh, yeah. Pointy end off. So at this point in the video, you're probably expecting to see some great footage of my fishing trip. 
and a more experienced YouTuber might have given that to you. But here's what happened to me. As we cleared that beautiful marina with the sun just coming up over that bridge, we eventually got to the Pacific Ocean. And the Pacific Ocean was angry that day, particularly at me, as I seemed to be the only person on the boat who had a bout of seasickness. Sickness that allowed me to distribute my own personal chum into the Pacific Ocean. But needless to say, I survived. I did not film anything. Fortunately, Crystal was there at dockside, camera in hand, ready to pick up the story again once we arrived safely back on land. So now, back to the video. So, no fish. I caught two, but they were undersized. Yeah. Didn't, you, didn't you pull one in? Nope. You pull one oh, in. I pulled up that little rock. Too. I think out of nine guys, only a couple of them might have caught keepers. Okay. But, when we pulled up the crab pots, uh, 120 crab total. Wow. So, we're all going to get some crab. We're going to get our limit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And the, I, the best part of the trip, was Terry got sicker than a dog. The captain calls me Chuck now. Because he up chucked. <laughs> he was an All over the Pacific. <laughs> yeah, right away. And then, you know, I felt so sorry for him. Because yeah. I'm the one who scheduled all this. And then we didn't catch any fish. Yeah. Oh, gosh. As sick as I could oh. be until we finally came back in here. Yeah. And this looks bizarre because 20 minutes ago, it was, we were in right. deep fog on the crab pots. And huge waves. Rope boat was, boat was going like this and this. Uh, it was like a small deadliest catch. Uh -huh. And I was like, how many crab pots did we put out there? Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> this was beautiful. This is not what we just went through 30 minutes ago. Oh, you know, the ocean totally changed. Man. I mean, the wind came up and uh, it was crazy. Crazy fun, man. <laughs> well, at least you did it, huh? And we did it. We did it. We made it. Bundled up. Even if I don't catch a fish, I'll look good. Are you guys going with us? Yeah, oh. we are. 